Hey guys. That's how Billy knows. Painting. So maybe I'll just do it. I mean, at this point, what can it hurt? Getting there, I'm getting there. I really want to be done with this painting. I'm about to throw it out the window. Like toothpaste or something. Welcome back guys. So this is part two. If you did not see last week's video, I'm gonna put a link to that either here or in, and also down below so you can see the first part of the process of this painting. Is that what I wanna call it, process? Mm. And then this video is about the rest of the story. Good morning guys. I noticed I'm kind of matching my doors. I am so excited about where this painting is this morning. Yesterday, Grady took a look at it yesterday evening. He said he thinks the table is too white. So it's a value issue again. That's where a colorblind husband is very handy. I kind of had a feeling that was the case, but I didn't want to get rid of that white quite yet because I wasn't really sure. And once I lose the luminosity of what I've got going, it's very hard to get it back. So I wanted to keep that. And here comes Cooper. Here's little nails. He came to say good morning to this little tail sister wagon. So I was thinking what I'm going to do is possibly use the same. Oh, I'm going to give kisses. Oh, so sweet. So I'm thinking about kind of adding a little bit of a pattern. I'm gonna first try this bright yellow that I have as the base color, the undercoat. I've got dog kisses. So that's what I'm gonna try and do like a kind of tablecloth design. One of the problems with doing, like not getting this kind of thing right is that the way I'm doing my edges painting my edges. I'm not like carving around things. I'm, I'm thinking about edges butting up to edges when I paint. So like if this is a vase or something, I'm not painting around the vase. I'm going like this. So those edges, it, it, just, it just gives me really interesting edges. What happens is it starts kind of eating away at those things, those objects. And so I don't want to lose too much of that. Guys, I think, think, that this painting is close to being finished. Wanted to update you guys on where things are going. I can't wait to show you the finished painting. sit here and talk to y'all for quite a while and I had not pushed record. So let's see if I can remember what I was saying. And now the battery's flashing. I put some pattern in. It's feeling a little too busy to me now. I'm thinking about maybe doing a wash of like yellow over this, but then I'm like, is that going to be too bright? So then I'm thinking about maybe a greenish kind of like this color, but watered down. I don't know. I'm just gonna. So those are the, the dilemmas right now. I'm gonna do what I usually do. It's like two steps forward, two steps back. So basically put some things in, take some things out. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what it feels like, this. Battery's dying, I'm gonna get to this. We'll see what happens.
and know that I'm signing my name right now and that may seem like the last thing to do when a painting's finished. If I know that the corner that I'm signing on, I think that it's finished, then I'll sign my name sometimes, really just because I have paint on my palette that I'm using or you know that I wanna use up because it's the end of the day. Here's the update. This is what you get when you're being careful, you're just trying to block in a space instead of painting a space as you go along. Basically, this table did not go well. I don't know. I think I'm basically trying to say this doesn't look good and I've got to work some more on it. But it's hard when you leave a big space like that to the end and you're just trying to make that work. I should have been making it work as I go along. But you know what I'm, my, my tendency right now is, is to now just keep blocking in other colors to try. Like I'm kind of, I'm, I'm tempted to see what this green looks like. So maybe I'll just do it. I mean, at this point, what can it hurt? And can you tell how safe I played it with this like pale yellow? Hmm. So I kind of feel like once I get that done, I'm gonna be done, but then I'm also not in love with, where is it, the cat. So I can't decide if I wanna just be done with it. You know what, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna get the table like I love it and then I'm gonna be in like, oh no, I don't wanna mess it up mode. But what I'll do is just put it up on my wall and live with it for a while. Then I'll be over and I'm gonna mess it up and then I can work on the cat. That's where I am. So I'm gonna put this baby up on the easel, block in another background and see how that works. You tell I need a little bit of an attitude adjustment too. I need to get back into, but I'm kind of like her. Cause I want it to go well. <laughs> I want it to go well. All right, so I'm gonna throw this baby up on the easel and keep trying, keep at it. Guess what? Good news, good news. Getting there, I'm getting there. It's going better. It's going better. I'm excited. I don't know that I'm done with it. I'm going to put it up on the wall and look at it for a couple days and I'll know, or I hope I know. I'll give you the full tour when I'm pretty certain that it's done. All right, here's where we are. And I'm just gonna tell you that as soon as I did my little, okay, I'm just gonna tell you, I set up the camera to give you a last, you know, like a, here's an update. I looked at the painting and I was like, it's still not working. I don't think, I don't think, but here it is. I don't even know if you can tell that this is kind of a greenish. I tried to not make it too blocky. <sighs> I'm too zoned in. See, that's what happens. I'm too zoned in on it. And you just put it away for a little bit. Take a break. Yeah. Hey guys, I am in the, I really want to be done with this painting mode. I mean, maybe I should have realized that the hot mess, this is struggle trying to get this thing resolved was gonna last longer because it's bigger. The other night was I took a picture of the photo, I mean of the painting. I put it into Procreate and played around with things. I realized that maybe the tabletop value is not correct, but I also realized that I needed to put more items on the table. So that's what I'm doing. And right now I'm going through all of my paper paintings, you know, that I did and just looking for inspiration because I need some more things on the table. I'm like, I just pulled this out and realized I like this plant back here. So I'm just gonna go through my stack of paintings and try to get some inspiration and get my, oh, I love to paint mode back. I am really have been in a funk with this painting for like days. You know, it's just at that stage where you don't want to lose it, but I need, you know, Y'all are probably so sick of hearing me say this, and I'm sorry. And here comes Cooper. I mean, guys, when I'm talking to y'all, he has to know he's so jealous. Hey, Mr. Jealous. Hey. Do you need to give kisses? Do you need to say hi to the people? I just need to give kisses. Who are you talking to, Mom? It's so silly. His tail is wagging so hard. Oh, you're gonna use this to wipe your face too. Hey bud, okay, that's stinky. I mean, I'm telling you, when I talk to y'all, he's gotta come in here. He cracks me up. All right, what was I saying? I was saying, oh yeah, get yourself together and stop 
moaning to the people. Maybe you came in here for moral support. Did you come in here for support? Yep. <laughs> Look at that sweet face. <laughs> He plopped his head down so hard in my lap. If I sat here for another minute, or not even a full minute, he would be snoring. I'm gonna get my mojo. <sighs> no, I'm gonna just get some inspiration from my old paintings. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tackle this thing and get it done. <laughs> and, oh, you know, afterwards I'm gonna be like, I love this painting and I don't wanna sell it because I spent so much time and I love it. where I am in the process. Not a ton has changed. I think I, yeah, I tackled the cat. I worked some more on the cat. Not a lot. I may change him completely because I'm not super in love, I don't think yet. But I've just been adding more to the table. Okay, here's what's hysterical. I have three pairs of glasses on the table. I got really enjoying the glasses, so. You know, if you're sitting at this table and you need to be able to see or to read, you have got options. So I'm gonna just keep adding things and then I'll tackle the tabletop later. Or maybe it'll just work itself out. made the, yet the table like a mustard yellow that did not work there is something I'm doing wrong and I cannot figure it out I told somebody the other day somebody commented on Instagram where I was like talking and they could see this in the background and they were like oh I love it and I'm like I'm about to throw it out the window I'm literally now going to have to paint everything kind of again that's touching that table because I'm losing all my great edges I keep saying to him, I'm gonna put it on the wall and just take a couple days off, but then I'm like, I have this like desire, like I need to wrap it up. Have I forgotten how to paint? That's how I'm feeling. Here we go with the yellow table. I mean, when I'm looking at it in the viewfinder, it doesn't look bad. When I've looked back at some of this like footage, I've liked the white. So I'm gonna go back to more of a cream. I've literally thought about just painting trees or something on top, like leave, completely losing this. But at this point, I've worked too hard. So I'm gonna press on. Maybe this will be my top selling money making painting. It'll make all the, the hard work worth it. All right, I'm gonna go tackle that, I think.
Okay guys, here we are back with a white table. I'm hoping after it dries, it won't be as white as it is because it's pretty stark. I mixed two whites. You never want to use like straight white because that will look like you've used like toothpaste or something. You always have to mix something, you know, make it less white than what you think. So I mixed two of them, two different, hopefully the same value, but just slightly different colors. Even though on here, it reads as white, but it is looking too chalky. I'm probably gonna have to knock that down, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point. I just like attacked it, majorly attacked it because I just thought I'm gonna have to paint everything again anyways. Like this is what I mean, let me show you. So anything over here that's touching the white or here, if you just paint something and then put something on top of it, it looks like it's stuck on. Like I want things to feel like they're melded together. And so I just decided like if I'm going to have to repaint basically everything, which will be good in the end, I just thought well, I need to get some texture back in there. And I just, I would accidentally paint it over several things, but that's okay. I'm just going to go back. Let's see what we think from here. Hmm. Probably too white. I think I made my whites too white. That happens. I'm not very good. I feel like with whites, I do feel like people probably have a hard time with white. I know I do. It either gets too chalky, which means it's too white. So you mix it and you think, oh, that's perfect. But with acrylics, they do dry darker. So I was trying to be kind of careful. I'm going to just try to stay in a good attitude. That was fun. Just slopping that on. That's where I need to be. For me, even if the color or the value is not exact, I have got to have the painting feel like it's not precious. Whoever painted it, well, which is me. <laughs> had fun. I don't know why I just said that, but what, I guess what I was thinking, you know how sometimes you see a painting and you're like, that person had fun painting that? I definitely need that. So, and all that is in the edges. That is in the edges. A lot of that is in the edges, I should say. So, now I got kind of loosened up with that. I was just slopping. Now I'm feeling a little more freed up because now I've basically got to paint the whole painting again. We're going to have fun doing it. This is going to be like the longest video ever. I've done a lot of filming for this. I guess because it was so big and I've been painting it for five hundred years. Has it been that long? Feels like it. I worked some more on it. I thought of a way to explain why I had to go back and paint. I'm still working on it, but why I had to go back. Why can't I finish a sentence? I'm really trying hard to work on finishing a sentence. If I only paint the edges of the table, what's that like? This is the table. That's what I'm doing. Let me just get the painting and show you. So if I only paint the edges, then the effect is that like the table is stuck on. But if everything's painted together, then it feels more together. <laughs> Crack it up. I, I was outside helping Grady or something and I was like, oh yeah, I just thought of how to explain that to them. And then I come in and try to say it. That didn't make any sense. Sorry about that. Okay, so never mind. <laughs> But I did it and the table's looking very white. So that tells me I'm gonna have to do something with that. But I am getting happier with it. Guys, I am done with this. I needed to put it in a closet. I do want to give you some footage though of the table and how I finished it off. I really loved a lot of little objects on here. There's a lot I love about it. Though I put it in the closet for now, I am going to keep it. What I wish is that this was in my sketchbook and not on this big expensive canvas. This would be a wonderful sketchbook page. For now, I'm just going to leave it in the closet until I get desperate for a canvas. And if somebody purchases it before then, then that'll be great. But if not, it's just going to live in the closet for now in the dark closet he lives. I just can't bear to look at it anymore. Hey guys, it is weeks, no, maybe even months later since I worked on, I'm gonna call that one the closet painting, maybe. I got it back out of the closet because I kept thinking about some of the pattern on that rug. 
and I needed a pattern for a big painting that I'm working on, which I'm going to show you. And I was thinking about doing the pattern that was on the rug for kind of this tablecloth. The painting does sit still, you know, inspiring. It needs to inspire me to do my hair. Now that it's been in the closet for a while, I'm happier about it. It's not something that I would want to put on my wall. I don't think I should try it in some of the other rooms. I just try it in my bathroom where it's a little quieter. So basically I was gonna do like the horses all over this and then it, that didn't work out. So this is a painting in progress. In fact, it'll be um, um, up on the YouTube channel weeks in the future. But this kind of tablecloth down here, I'm still working on it. I started the horse and realized I painted the horse like three times trying to get it smaller and it kept ended up being the same size. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna scrap the horse. But I liked the pattern going on with like the flowers and stuff. So that's inspiring it. I'm gonna cut back in to make these shapes. But uh, yeah, so the painting's not a total loss because it's inspiring color and pattern and this, which is turning out well, I think. Guys. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. All right, so thank you guys for joining me on this very long journey that really didn't have a great ending. That's how it works sometimes. That's why this channel is called Bits of an Artist's Life. It's because I bring you in on what the process looks like. And there are times that the paintings just don't work and don't resolve, or maybe years later I'll pull it out and it feels resolved. I don't know, but that's just part of it. So if this felt a little warm womp at the end, not like the finish, like I usually do, like, oh, here it is and it's so much better, isn't it? And all of that. Here, I'll sit here with it in the background. But here's the thing, part one of this video, you guys really liked it. So I don't know, you're probably gonna like bombard me with, no, we love it, don't touch it. So I'm not gonna touch it until I need a canvas. It's the end of this story for that painting for now. On to a new story for next week. I'll see you guys then. Bye.